I really do think that they should put something there as opposed to just having it like looking vacant. Well, the discussion continues on what should be done to the vacant Six Flags site that sits in New Orleans East. Two developers have some big ideas and tonight they presented their plans to a committee. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor joins us now live with a look at both proposals. Shay. Gina and Sella, now the two potential developers have been narrowed down to two groups and tonight they were each able to share their visions with community members. Meanwhile, those who live in the area, they just tell me that they're just happy that something is being done. Some movement is being made on the topic. I, I would love for them to put something else like a six flag, another six flags maybe. Um, oh. Ronkina lives one subdivision away from the old Six Flags, closed to the public since 2005 after Hurricane Katrina. She says she knows she isn't the only person who passes the abandoned site, hoping for a redevelopment that families and children can enjoy. They have kids out here that need more recreations, recreational centers and stuff like that. Yeah, so it'll, you know, keep them off the streets and keep them from doing negative things. And Tuesday during a meeting held by the East New Orleans Neighborhood Advisory Commission, two developers pitched their vision for the site. Kern and Weston Shield One were first up with the new plan created after residents said they wanted more entertainment in the proposal. Envision a large amphitheater uh, covered where you can host all types of concerts, events, theater, recitals, you name it, plays, movie night, and then multiple bandstands. The group says they'll also include things like restaurants, retail and a water park, along with the focus on providing education with an emphasis on science. Much like developers would buy you Phoenix, they offered a plan that would include things like a water park, a hotel, a logistics center, sports complex, along with the redevelopment of the Eastover golf course. They'd also want to build additional homes around it. Our target is to make Bayou Phoenix, a true destination for not only New Orleans East residents, but for this entire region. As cruise ships come into this region, they'll want to go to Bayou Phoenix and spend a night or two. Now, developers did also mention that projects like these would help to boost the economy while also providing thousands of jobs. Now, although it would take some years for projects like these to actually be completed, now they will present their proposals to the Review Selection Committee in the next few weeks. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated on how that goes. But just for now, reporting live from the CBD, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.